Meghan Markle is under fire for an ironic message she is set to deliver as she prepares to join Prince Harry at the Invictus Games. Meghan will join Harry in Dusseldorf for the multi-sport event, which the Duke of Sussex founded in 2014. According to Prince Harry's biography, Angela Levin, Meghan is set to deliver a personal message to the wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women who will be competing at the event. Levin believes the Duchess will focus on a message of courage and resilience, something she said is ironic. Meghan is going to be there, Invictus Games, Levin said. She is going to speak to the veterans about courage and resilience. I thought that was quite ironic, because she represents neither of those things. It comes after the Duke of Sussex gave fans a teaser of his upcoming Netflix documentary centered around the games. The trailer for Heart of Invictus saw Harry speak about his experience of setting up the initiative and delved into his relationship with veterans. One notable absentee from the video was his wife, Meghan, but it remains unclear as to whether she will be missing from the show itself. According to Levin, Harry came across more like his former self in the teaser for the upcoming series. There was an advert for the series, and he struck me more like the Harry I knew in 2017 when I was writing his biography, she told GB News. He was brilliant with the soldiers who were damaged mentally or physically. They said he'd given them a wish to live. I said to him, do you use this as a way of helping you with your own mental health issues? I thought he would throw me out, he waited about a minute to answer, and he said you were right, it does help me. I just wonder if he is coming out of the pit he has been in and he's becoming more like a man himself. He's in a very bad, miserable state. He was happy before, but he isn't now. A camera crew for the project joined Harry and Meghan when they visited the games in The Hague in the Netherlands in 2022. In another news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's shift towards the new chapter of their lives has come under the radar of experts who believe it signifies a total distancing from everything royal. Comments about this shift and the ramifications have been shared by PR expert Kieran Elsby. He broke everything down during one of his interviews with The Mirror. All of this has been shared in response to the ex-royal content the duo churned out in the last year. In the eyes of Mr. Elsby, the upcoming rom-com series inspired by the book Meet Me at the Lake proves the anti-royal propaganda era is over because the Sussexes are now visibly in a new chapter of their lives distancing themselves from their former roles as senior members of the royal family. The director of media PR Global even went as far as to add, their professional pursuits have expanded to encompass a diverse array of initiatives, while some have worked, many have not. Due to this he believes, it is critical that the public reception of Heart of Invictus enhances their public image in a positive light. If as expected the documentary focuses around the Invictus Games, as a whole they will avoid creating any new royal dramas. That in itself is a wise strategy. This is especially true because, by staying firm to their involvement in the games it will project an uplifting and positive message, Harry and Meghan can effectively begin a constructive narrative. At the end of the day, this approach allows them to foster an atmosphere of unity and optimism and may be the start of a great tactical switch.